What's going on guys? So in this video, I thought I'd give you all an in-depth look at the completely redesigned Maps application that's going to be available with iOS 6 this fall. So when you first launch the application, you're going to notice some pretty major visual changes right away. This is no longer Google Maps. The maps are actually created by TomTom and other companies. Apple had a lot of say as to how the maps looked and they're basically built under their guidelines. One big feature that they talked a lot about in the keynote was this 3D feature, uh, basically what they're calling flyover. Now this won't be available across all iOS devices. As far as I can tell, it's limited to the iPhone 4S and second and third generation iPads, unfortunately. So you can enable the 3D feature by just pressing this button down there and the map will shift to uh, adjust and let you know that it's in 3D. You have a number of gestures that you can use uh, to manipulate and move the map around. Obviously the first one is just taking one finger and moving the map around. That's a feature that's uh, always been in maps. But some of the new features, uh, one thing that you can do is you can twist the map around uh, and it's basically just kind of twisting it around a single point and you can give it kind of a 360 degree view of whatever it is that you're looking at. You can also use two fingers to adjust the view of the map, hopefully I can do this, there we go, um, to look more uh, above it or kind of off into the horizon. And probably one of the coolest features is as you zoom in closer and closer to a major city, um, the major landmarks and buildings and structures are now going to kind of pop up and become 3D. So even in standard mode, you get a sense of the 3D map, but when you switch to satellite view, you get an even better idea of just what 3D is, and again, what Apple is calling their flyover feature. So I'll go ahead and just switch to satellite so you guys can see. It does look really, really impressive. It's nice to see it in person. I don't think the camera quite does it justice, but as you're moving it around, it really does look like a 3D map, and everything looks really good and really realistic. The 3D is shown with uh, buildings and structures, as well as landscapes such as uh, trees and hills and mountains and all that stuff. Apple also updated how the traffic information works. So if you head on over here and hit that show traffic button, you're going to see uh, where traffic is available at least, different dotted lines across different roads. And uh, the red dots mean that traffic's bad, the yellow is traffic's okay, and the green dot is uh, there's no traffic at all. And the traffic is actually, uh, the traffic's generated anonymously through other iOS users, and it's uh, constantly updating the traffic in real time, so it's always updated and it's always accurate. So you get a good sense of what the traffic is in a specific area. Turn by turn directions has also changed just a bit. So we'll go ahead and just type in two points here and we'll hit uh, Cupertino and then it'll route it. And you'll see uh, the first thing that it gives you is this nice big wide open view of the map. If it has different routes, you can choose between the, the first route or the second route or however many routes that it gave you. And then just top right corner, go ahead and hit start. And you'll notice these kind of street sign looking things. You can go ahead and slide through them all so you can see all, all the future directions that you're going to need. Or you can just tap on them one at a time and go through the directions uh, one at a time as you need them. Turn by turn directions is now also supported by Siri. Unfortunately, I can't demo it right now just because I'm not driving in a car, but as you're going along, Siri will talk out all of the directions to you, all the turns you have to make, all the roads you need to use, just like Garmin or TomTom Tom GPS systems. Another thing that also has been changed just a bit, when you search for a specific place and tap on the eye over there to get more information, the more information page has been updated. A lot of times they'll have this little animation up here to give you pictures or, or information about what the place is. You'll have all the information up here as well as phone numbers, addresses, um, basic information such as uh, does it deliver, does it take reservations, is it good for kids. And also Maps is completely integrated with Yelp. So you can go down here and get more information on Yelp. And you can also look at specific reviews by other Yelp users. So you'll know exactly uh, what the place is that you're looking at, um, whether it's good, whether it's bad. And you'll get to see real reviews from real people. Maps application is also fully supported with Siri along with turn by turn directions. If you want to search for something in Siri and you find the place that you wanted, all you have to do is um, touch the little map that Siri gives you and it'll open up and it'll bring you to a page that looks like this. So there you go. That was an in-depth look at the updated Maps application that will be available this fall with iOS 6. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you have any questions, post them down below. Hit that thumbs up button if you guys did enjoy it. Also hit that subscribe button for future Apple videos and I'll see you later.